I think, yeah, the thing that's been burning in me recently is like, it's kind of scary when, mm. when you are a person or a movement or a leader that begins to ignite the hearts of the masses. Mm. Mm. Because when you ignite the hearts of the masses, especially with an identity message that, hey, everyone is unique, everyone has a calling, everyone can shine, mm. it gets really messy. Mm. Because then the people get inspired to risk and then mm. they risk and get feedback in a certain way. Then mm. they get disappointed. Then they think it wasn't God. Mm. Are y'all following me? Oh, so good. Come on. And so, man, what's on my heart is that, look, maturity mm. will happen and need to happen. The gift and call on your life is in you. It's irrevocable. You can't get rid of it. Mm. And so the that journey from inspiration to mm. to movement and a, like alignment and movement in the direction of your of your dreams mm. and your calling is trust mm. it's learning to mature and, mm. and trust the lord trust the the feedback that you're getting mm. get, you know what i mean and so mm. and, a, and a lot of times that's why people stop doing that and they're like ah, we'll have a tiered system we'll only have the people that really get it but we'll just mm -hmm. keep the small people down here you know what i mean wow and i know wow. that i i know that not everyone can be the president i know that everyone can't be the guy holding the mic i'm not saying that there's going to be four trillion recording artists that all are popular that's mm -hmm. not what i'm saying mm -hmm. i'm saying there's room enough for what's in your heart and if you trust on that journey God will make a way mm. and he's dying right now. Like in Isaiah, like mm. the praises of the people would stir his heart, like a man of war. And like, he would come down and begin to actually, you would move the heart of the Lord because you just decided to create mm. and, and you can't control where the creation, where, what you create, how far it goes. Maybe you're supposed to influence locally, maybe in your house church only, Maybe to thousands, maybe to millions, maybe globally. It doesn't matter, really. Even if you have dreams in a direction, maybe the Lord steers you around and you end up somewhere else. The mm. dots will never connect in the way that you think they're going to connect. Mm. Trust the Lord. And when the mm. dots start connecting backwards from where you think you're supposed to go, trust him that there's a portal down here that in one fell swoop will take you where you need to go. Wow. But there's more than enough. You cannot take away the gifting and the design that God has in you. And mm. when it comes to creativity, it can be so hard. Mm. And so mm. I would just say, I'm unafraid to ignite the masses mm. into their creative dreams. Mm. And I think there's where you just leave it with open hands. You can't control exactly where it's going to go. All you can control is planting the seed that's in front of mm. you and growing mm. a garden. Mm. And don't despise the seed that's in front of you. Mm. Plant it, grow something, mm. and then after 10, 15 years, people not only you'll be feeding from it, but everyone around you. Mm. If you're prideful and don't plant that seed because it's not exactly the one that you want to plant, then you won't have mm -hmm. a garden in 15 years.